Alright guys. Air Creek foam generating gun. How do we create it? This is Binks 2000 pressure pot, two quart pressure pot. You can get one similar to this at Harbor Freight for about 45 bucks. Uh, that does the same exact thing. We'll take apart the gun and show you what it is. This is this stuff that was made from around the house. When you buy the gun, it's gonna come with a nozzle on like this. When I was looking at different pressure, different Air Creek guns throughout the different systems, they're pretty cheap, so I wanted to do something uh, without spending any money on it. So I tried the pressure washer. I had a foam cannon for the pressure washer. Tried that first, uh, way too much water. So I tried to make a, a nozzle gun for it, still way too much water. So when I got looking at pressure wash or pressure pot designs that they were using for the air creek guns that are commercially sold, it looked to me the same as a regular paint gun uh, pressure pot. Uh, so I said, well, let me try that and see. So I like it a lot better. The reason why is because in the gun itself, you can adjust the air pressure coming from the uh, main line coming in. You can adjust the fan on it. You can adjust the volume of the actual fluid coming out so you can uh, maximize your air coming through. And that seemed to be the problem with the pressure washer and other ideas is you're getting a lot of water but not much pressure. So, and also too, when it sprays it out of this nozzle, this nozzle atomizes the air and the volume of the fluid coming out of it, no matter what you got spraying through it. Another good idea on this is once, if you're not using it for the, the uh, air crete, you can use it to paint anything at your home or others. So we'll hang that up for now. This is just duct taped together because I knew it was, I was gonna be taking it back apart if it worked. Why did I pick this pipe? It was a pipe I had laying around. Uh, so that's why I picked this size pipe. You can make it larger or smaller as you would like. Uh, but the main thing is the cap on it has to fit over every what size of gun tip you have. So if you have a large gun tip, then you have to make sure the cap fits over that. This is the very end cap. I used just some some large scale wire that we had in the shop. Used it just to keep the rest of the wire from coming out. So it's just a, a blank. This this end here is open. And that just slides on the end of it. On the inside of this, these two caps. One time I was at the dump and found some just some screen wire to come off a screen door or a screen window. I just used that and wrapped it up on itself, about five or six pieces all the way down through here. And just wrap it up to where it will fit inside of this diameter opening and then uh, shove it in. The hardest thing is the tip of the gun. So when you get your gun, you take the tip off of it. This is how I did it. Take your tip off, lay it down, make sure it's clean. Then take your fitting, the size that you're gonna have, make sure it fits over this. So that has to fit over that to where you know that it's good. I centered it up inside the cap and then I hot glued all the way around it on the, from the top side and from the bottom side. Just put hot glue all the way around it to hold that tip in place. And then that's all that is. Then that cap will come off there, off of this end. This cap will come off on the other end. Fill it full of screen wire and put you a cap on the end that'll keep the screen wire from coming out, this piece here. And that's it, your foam generator. I've used it three or four times. I'm just holding it together with super with uh, duct tape. Uh, so it doesn't, duct tape will hold it. I'm gonna go back and glue all this together to where I don't have to worry about it if it does try to come apart. But that's basically it.
the tips that come with it, the one from Harbor Freight, they make two different models. They make a cheaper model for about $45, a more expensive model for about $75 on these pressure pots. So depending on how much you're gonna use it would depend on uh, you know, what you wanna spend on it. The cheaper gun does have a larger tip. So if you do get the larger tip, then you would, might have to use larger pipe, which should not be a problem. I've got a, a two gallon pot also. Uh, if you're gonna be doing a lot of, uh, of um, uh, air crate, then you might wanna go to a larger pot. But this pot here, as you saw in the video out there, it makes plenty of foam, makes perfect foam. Uh, and one other thing I will say, what I was showing out there is the FM160 by Drexel. It is by far the best uh, binder to use. Uh, I have tried the daily uh, clarifying shampoo, the Suave. It works very well too. However, uh, if you're going to be doing a lot of it, I would suggest the FM160 because the foam in it is a whole lot better. It does not. Uh, I tried Dawn dishwashing detergent first. It had a lot of large bubbles in it. The clarifier is better. But by far, the FM160 is the best, uh, the best uh, chemical to use. Uh, it is not uh, uh, as safe as the other chemicals. So, of course, if you're using it just to foam for uh, kids' play and stuff like that, you want to use some tear-free shampoo or something like that. Work fine for that if you're wanting to play, play with the kids. But if you're doing concrete, uh, the FM160 is by far the best. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please ask. And thank you for my camera operator, Ray Hartsog.